Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all of the tools right here as you see across the top here to help you make your picks. So the Major League Baseball season is really getting down to the home stretch now, down to the final few weeks. And lots of playoff positions are still up in the air. So let's take a look at some important games for September the 4th. Scroll down through here. The first game we want to look at is the Giants and the Cubs. Both teams are in the battle for the NL wild card spots. Um, with the Cubs holding a side edge at the moment. But right now the Cubs are playing better ball. They're burning hot coming off of two straight wins and uh, four out of their last five. While the Giants are also... Um, four and two over their last uh, six games and they're coming off of a win off after a previous loss if you look at the uh, over under you can see that the teams have been trending in games uh on opposite sides of the line lately uh with the giants two out of the last three over and the cubs their last two under the line both both teams have been over uh well actually the giants have been over in four out of their last six and the cubs three out of their last six the score predictor has uh, the Giants in a low-scoring game, 4-0, but only a 46% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, not a surprise because the teams are so close in the standings and because they're both 4-2 over their last six that they are very even here at 19-18 in favor of the Cubs. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, they met back in June with the Cubs winning two out of the three games in San Francisco, although the San Francisco Giants did have a statement 13-3 win in the last meeting. If you look at the stability factor, notice that both teams are moderately stable, moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, and more so as you can see over the last month or so. So in the end, though, I think this is going to be a Cubs win. I like the Cubs the way they're playing. Um, the fact is that San Francisco is not very good on the road. They are just a game on their game under 500 on the road, and I don't expect them to do much against the Cubs here. I like uh, the Cubs to win this one. Houston and Texas. Here's an epic battle in the AL West, in the toughest division in the league, really pretty much, with three teams battling for first place. Houston comes in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six, while Texas is averaged down three and three over their last six. Again, if we look at the over-under, Houston involved in games over the line, mostly in the last six. And the same thing with Texas, although two out of the last three games have been under the line. The score predictor likes a higher scoring game here, 11-6 to six in favor of Houston. But again, take it with a grain of salt with only 40.8% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, Houston has a slight edge of 24-22 to 22, and both teams on a slightly upward I sent um, head to head. You see, the teams have met quite a few times this season already. And, well, actually, I didn't go over this to see who did what, but we can look at it right now. So, Houston, Houston, Houston. So, four out of the last five games went to Houston. And then earlier in the season, uh, they split the games, pretty much split the games earlier in the season. So these two teams are quite familiar with each other, as you would expect being in the same division. If you look at the stability factor, Texas has been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status of plus 22 compared to plus 10 for Houston. So in the end, how do we think this is going to go? Well, the way I look at this, Houston is an incredible 42 and 27 on the road. That is very impressive. I like them to improve in that one, and they are Playing excellent ball right now, so I like Houston, and I'm going to go over the line. The next game we want to look at, Cincinnati, uh, Seattle and Cincinnati. Cincinnati comes in ice cold up, 2-4 and four over their last six games. They really need to get on a roll to stay in the, a good position for the uh, NL wildcard spot. Right now, they have like a 14% chance of making the playoffs, while Seattle is burning hot winners of five out of their last six. If we take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games under the line. You can see both um, both teams under in three out of their last four games. The score predictor has a higher scoring game, though. But again, it's only the confidence of a toss of a coin, Seattle 8, Cincinnati 5. Power ranks indicator. Look, both teams on the downward trend here. Seattle at plus 21. 
and Cincinnati dropped from 16 down to 9 just over the last couple of days. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams, did they meet yet this season? No, they did not yet meet this season, so we don't have to really consider that at all. Consistency-wise, with regard to their favorite underdog stats, not so much, really. Look at Cincinnati. They're up at plus 11 back on in May, and they're just now at plus 8, so they have not even uh, back a pro stat mark since then, so they've been very inconsistent uh, most of the season. And you can see um, Seattle not much better than they did go, get up to plus eight back in june and they're still at eight because they've been up and down with their consistency factor so either way i'm going to go with the mariners in this one and i like them to keep pacing their division with a win but i'm going to pass on the over under minnesota and cleveland let's face it this is the worst division in baseball uh, minnesota has the lead in the division but they're barely over 500, so the only the winner of the division will make the playoffs. And right now, Cleveland needs to get hot to make up the five-game stretch. If this is their opportunity, if they can win two out of three, and preferably a sweep, they'll still be in the hunt. Uh, right now, they are playing better ball than Minnesota at burning hot. Winners of four out of their last six. And you can see Minnesota has lost their last two and average down. Uh, the score prediction has it a close game in favor of Minnesota, 4-3, to three, but the confidence in prediction is really still rather low at 47%. Head-to-head-wise, you can see uh, in the last three meetings, just at the end of August, you can see that Cleveland won two out of the three, and you can see back in June, the teams met, the teams splitting the game, and back in May, they played as well. So these two teams, they're very familiar with each other uh, as far as this season goes. The stability factor, both teams moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats at plus 11 to plus 10. Although Minnesota, not so much since the end of July, they were at plus 15, so they've been inconsistent since that point. I like Cleveland to come out on top of this one at home. I think this is going to be a good game. I like Cleveland in this series, and I'm going to take this one in a lower scoring game. So let's go Cleveland and under the line. And the last game we want to look at is the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. In a rematch of last year's NLCS, the teams are heading in opposite directions. Uh, San Diego is pretty much out of it, dead status. They are 3-7 and seven over their last uh, 10. The Phillies are burning hot down, winners of five out of their last six. Um, this totals, you can see that the teams have been involved in games over the line, mostly. And the score prediction has the Phillies in a 9 to nothing blowout. With a pretty high level of confidence in this prediction of about 74%. The power ranks indicator will show also the Phillies have a clear edge at plus 20 compared to plus 4. And right now the Phillies bats are getting hot. That's the big thing right now. They have really been hitting the ball lately. That bodes well for them moving forward, especially as we're getting now closer to the postseason. The stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. You see here at plus 21 and plus 17. I like the Phillies in this one. I expect they win for in, in this one for the Phillies and a higher scoring game. So if, again, the Phillies and over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball first September 4th, which is Labor Day. So happy betting and we will see you next time.